The Houston toad is actually a unique amphibian species. In Texas, it now only occurs in very few counties, and Bastrop happens to be really the largest population prior to the fire. It was the last place that it was doing well. The largest population in Bastrop County has been impacted by 40% of a habitat changed in the fire. This fire was not only one of the, the most horrific fire in Bastrop County's history, this was the most horrific fire in the state of Texas history. In Bastrop County, we had over 38,000 acres burned, over 1,600 residential structures burned, totally burned to the ground, and we had two fatalities, two loss of lives. It was a horrific disaster. Houston tone is a rare species that is on the endangered species list. We have both the toad that's an endangered species that's trying to recover from the fires, and we have our citizens of the state of Texas. They live together, and so we want them to recover together to ensure that we have continuity of not only our survivors, but also of the Houston toad. Because FEMA is providing funding for the recovery in Bastrop, under the Endangered Species Act, we are required by law to ensure that we protect the environment of an endangered species, in this case the Houston toad. We only had two options. One was to stop work completely during the coursing season while the toad was active. That was not a viable option. Or we could agree on a way to protect the toad while continuing the work. And brought in specifically trained biologists who are permitted and trained to handle the Houston toad. So that we, if we locate a Houston toad, we can put them in a safe location so that they can continue to recover and survive and that we can continue with this recovery process for the citizens of Bastrop. On January 10th, we brought all the parties together, all the interested agencies, Parks and Wildlife, Fish and Wildlife, and FEMA, of course, and developed the informal consultation strategy. It was a huge collaborative effort to make sure everyone's on the same page and that we could continue the work to get the survivors back into their homes and also maintain the habitat for the Houston toad. We're working together really in a, in a spirit of cooperation between all the agencies. And it's a great, it's a great teamwork, really. Is, is everybody leaves their egos and their titles outside the door, outside the room. We step in and we're all, it's, it's like the musketeer said, all for one and one for all. So not only do these toad monitors that FEMA has brought on have specific permits issued by U.S. Fish and Wildlife to handle, identify, and uh, relocate the Houston toad in the wild, they also really are the top experts in the field and collectively uh, the team has over a century of experience dealing with the Houston toad in the wild and dealing in Houston toad habitat. They usually typically breed January to May, really kind of peaking February, March, April. They're going to be um, trying to find uh, shelter in some of this leaf litter overnight. We got pretty warm last night so there could have been some movement. So what we wanted to make sure is that before they had a pile to place all of their debris they're cutting that there wasn't a toad up underneath that debris pile. With the private property debris removal sites, we work with the, with the cut crews and the debris removal crews to clear areas of Houston toads. So we show up at a property, we uh, look at the trees that are numbered, try to figure out what the best way is to bring them down, and then where uh, the trees might fall or where the equipment might run. We uh, look through all of the cover on the ground, the leaf litter, logs, debris piles, and make sure that there aren't any Houston toads under there that would get squished or run over by that equipment or the falling trees. The citizens of Bastrop County pride themselves on a rural lifestyle with rural values. It's really synergistic to maintaining that lifestyle to support the Houston toad. The reason that they moved to Bastrop County is because it looks a certain way. Maintaining that look maintains the habitat for the Houston toad. And if we're able to do those two things, toads and people will continue to recover in the county. I think one of the things that's important to understand about this process is that it is working. Our toad monitors located a, a female toad that was a juvenile, and we were able to relocate it to its natural habitat here in Bastrop so it can continue its recovery process in a safe environment away from the debris, away from the construction, 
and so that we can continue to have the survivors of bass drop recover as well as this rare endangered species, the Houston toad.